Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Olua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, He shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of jesus i pray for you sir i pray for you man one more time that that matter this very day the lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of jesus so why not sit down get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony you are welcome jesus name we give you praise lord we give you praise Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Ancient of days, we appreciate you. I hear that I am, we say thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my God. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for all our family members. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord, today. Visit each and every one of us. Arise, O Lord, today. Visit our home, our marriage, our business, our career. Arise, O Lord, today. Do that which only you can do in our life. Arise, my Lord, my God, today. As many that are waiting upon you for divine visitation for divine encounter father arise visit each and every one of them in the name of jesus sweet holy spirit we bring all our family members before you today i ask that father you will visit our family in the name of jesus my lord my god our family the fathers of the house the mothers of the house the children of the house every members of our family Today, arise, O Lord, in your power. Visit each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Let our family record the fine visitation today in the name of Jesus. Let our home, let our family record the fine visitation today in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I ask, everything that is hidden in the record of our fathers, everything that have been done by our fathers our grandfather our great grandfathers up to the 11th generation that is affecting us today whatever our parents have dipped their hand into any iniquity that our parents have dipped their hand into whatever our parents have done that we the children we are now paying the price with sweat and struggle with failure we said back today my lord my god i ask that you will reveal and expose them in the name of jesus as you reveal them let your mercy speak let your mercy prevail let your mercy speak for us thank you mighty father blessed be your holy name we give you all the praise we give you all the honor in jesus name we are praying praise the lord praise the living jesus once again, I welcome each and every one of us to day four of our prayer avalanche rest. You will enter into the rest of God in the name of Jesus. I said you will enter into your rest in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Today being Saturday, we are going to take prayer for our family. We are going to pray for our family. Please all the parents in the house, help me mobilize your children to come online. Our children, the Samuel group, please... Let them join us throughout this month. Let's combine the two together. The Samuel group, that is the prayer meeting of our children. 
five o'clock let's match them together so wherever they are right now help me summon them in the next two minutes to come online today we are praying family deliverance family deliverance the lord will deliver your family from every ugly incidents every ugly recurring incidents in the name of jesus once again you are welcome in the name of jesus praise the lord family deliverance family deliverance nahum 3 4 to 7 our uncle scripture will be taken from nahum chapter 3 4 to 7 nahum chapter 3 4 to 7 nahum chapter 3 4 to 7 and colossia 2 14 and 15 I believe you you have your oil here. You know, I told us as we are running up the Fiji, every day in the next seven days, you come online with the oil. Amen. Before we close, we are going to bless it. We speak the word of God unto it. In the next seven days, we'll be speaking the word of God over that oil. And by the grace of God, come next week, Friday, the second impartation service, we will now make use of it. But every day, come online with it. If you don't have that oil, please quickly get today or latest before Monday. Praise the Lord. After we pray on it for seven days, those of you who are business owners, you take the oil. On the last day, I will explain how you are going to do it. You take it to your office, you annoy the place. Those of you who have company and the company is not producing well or there are issues there, praise the Lord. They are set back, they are delayed. Amen. You take the oil there. Amen. After we have, after the oil has been loaded with the power of God for seven days, you will see the wonders of God in the name of Jesus. You have abandoned project. You have abandoned project. Amen. On this, after uh, next week Friday, you take it there. You are not that abandoned project. The seal shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Everyone with health issue, every day we print on it. I didn't say use it. Just be bringing it online. We will pray on it seven days. Next week, Friday, we now make use of it. Then you now go. Even your house, you are not your house. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Yes, I have this yesterday. That was one of the things I asked us to be bringing every day. There are issues going on in your in your house right now. Strange thing, strange occurrence are going on in your family. I mean, in your home. Don't worry. Just be bringing it oil online every blessed day. We will pray on it. After the seven days, you will anoint the house. And that will be the end. That will be the end. That will be the end. Praise the Lord. I have seen God walking through the anointing oil. I have seen God walking through communion service. I am not seeing what I read, what I saw, what I practiced. I've seen God walking through communal service, through communal material. I've seen God walking through anointing oil. I've seen God walking through prayer. I've seen God walking through fasting. I've seen God walking through you, just waiting upon him. You are not praying, you are not doing anything, but you are just waiting on God. I've seen him walking. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Family deliverance are we ready now home three four to seven now home chapter three fast four to seven this is another dimension of family deliverance now home chapter three four to seven i read from king james fashion because of the multitude of the world drum of the world favor alloy do you see a kind of qualification? Well, favor a lot. <laughs> the mistress of witchcraft. What was our assignment? And the assignment is still on now. What is that assignment? That selling nations through our world home and families. That means it sells families through our witchcraft. Through our witchcraft. Behold. I, the Lord God, I am against the said the Lord of hosts. I will discover your, your skirt upon your face. 
and I will show the nation thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. For since I will cast abominable feet upon thee, I will make thee thy divine, and will set thee as a gazing stock. For seven, can we read it together? And it shall come to pass that all that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh, that means witchcraft, is lay waste. Who will bemoan her? When shall I see comforters for thee? Praise the Lord. The Bible is talking about that first four. It's talking about the assignment of a family witchcraft. Family witchcraft. Family witchcraft. What is that family witchcraft? I've shared this some time ago. Angels, all of them are good at the onset. There's nothing like bad angel. There's nothing like evil angel. All of them, including Satan, all of them are good angel. But when manipulation set in, the Bible says Satan took some of those angels. But before that manipulation set in, individual, individual, you are say, oh, Sister uh, uh, Mabu Daniel, you are say, oh, you have by calculation, by calculation, biblical, when we look at the Bible, I believe one of these they will be able to dissect that go into that era. When we look at the Bible, individual, you have nothing less than 10 angels. Yes, you hear me. As I'm here right now, I have nothing less than 10 angels that is charge. Either you are a Christian, either you are a believer, either you are a non-believer, individual or not, they have nothing, nothing less than 10 angels. It is there in the Bible everyone the good the bad even the, the occultic people they are angels nothing less than 10 in charge of their life so can you just see what is the numbers what is the population of the world so now multiply by at least 10 so you see that the numbers of angels is more than the numbers of human people on earth but before the manipulation setting every one of them they have assignment there are some angels that are in charge of environment. There are some angels that are in charge of nations. There are some angels that are in charge of economy. For every business, there are angels that are in charge. For ministry, the work of God, there are angels that the assignment is to be for those who are into ministry. Praise the Lord. There are angels in charge of technology. There are angels in charge of science. There are angels in charge of... Um, a, a medicine. So when you see a deliverance minister praying, I release the angels that are in charge of operation, that are in charge of mercy, that are in charge of healing, to go from the Almighty God and minister healing. They know what they are saying. For every business, for every sectors of life, there are angels attached to them. There are angels attached to family. You can't just attach somebody to an office without giving that person detail about what that person is going to do in that place. Job description. Job schedule. Job description. What you are expecting that person to do within a short, a short period of time and within a long time. Every week, every day, every month, every season, you must state it for that person. Otherwise, otherwise, if that person should go there and just fold his hand and not do anything, you cannot query that person. But when you gave that person job description, Monday, this is what you should do. Tuesday, this is what you should do. Wednesday, this is what you should do. If that person did not do it, you hold the person against it. So, there are some angels in charge of family. Like my family now. The Ariola's family. That is my father's name. They are angels in charge of Ariola's family. Before my father was born, the angels that are attached to Ariola's family, they were here on earth. My father was not born. But angels attached to him are already on ground. And they have documents. They have effect of everything that will happen in the life of my father. They know the kind of birth he's going to have. They know that he's going to have a son that one day that son will become a pastor and will be running praying the goose network. 
Are you with me? So, this was before the corruption set in. When the corruption now set in, and God sent Satan and his and the old angels out, he sent them out from heaven. But their memory was not deleted, was not wiped off. What is the meaning? God sent those angels out. The information they have about my family I see in their hand. Sister uh, um, uh, Daniel, the information that those angels have about your mother, that your mother will give back to a girl one day and her name will be Mabu Daniel. He and me, sir, those angels, you know they are fallen angels. They are now satan satanic agents. They have that information that one day a girl will be born to your father's family and her name will be called Mabu Daniel and she's going to run a kind of corporate organization that will move from one nation to another. So the angels will be waiting. The moment they get back to your mother, those angels will be in operation. What is the operation? To make sure that they hinder your mother from giving back to, to you. And uh, if your mother survive it, when they give back to you, because the angels already know, they have the, the detail, when they saw that you are the one, they will frustrate you from, from the one in your mother's womb. When your mother gave back to you, they will begin to frustrate you. They will frustrate your head. They will frustrate your education. Ah, They will, they will shake you. They will, they will make this life unbearable for you. You know why? Because they have record in their hand. The, that God is going to do a major things in this world through you. You are the one that called them folly angel. They are folly angel, but they have information about you. They are folly angel. What you don't know about yourself, they know it. They have it in their hand. So they will begin to use that information to work against you. But as this year is closing, they know what God has prepared for you that you don't know because it was there in their record. So they will begin to bring error. They will begin to bring people that will cause a problem in your life so that you will be able to take a wrong step. Some of those angels, because they know that your mother, I'm just using that sister as an example, praise the Lord. They know that there's going to be a lady who will be called uh, uh, Kira, that she's going to be a nurse. And she's going to help people. And she's going to establish school. Ah, your mother will suffer hell in their hand. Because they won't want your mother to give back to you. Because those angels did not want you to come to this world and establish all those good things. They have the record. You know what they will now do? Before your mother will give back to you, they will begin to bring all manners of problems. Like sickness. Like marital crisis. They will begin to bring all manners of issue into the life of your mother, even before your mother gave birth to you. Many people, where their mother was having them as pregnant, because of that unborn child, the devil will begin to attack that woman. And uh, instead of that woman to not focus on Christ, this is where the problem lies. They will now begin to see God where there is no God. They will begin to go, go to occultic places. They will begin to go to shrine. They will begin to go to satanic altar what happened there they enter into ungodly covenant with satan when you are not finally here don't forget your mother already entered into covenant with satan this my baby help me keep this child <laughs> and unknown to your mother satan is fighting your mother because of you so your mother now dedicated you to satan Oh, I'll be losing pregnancy, I'll be losing pregnancy so that I don't lose this one. They go to some strange places. Unknown to your mother that why your mother was losing pregnancy was because of your own particular pregnancy that is coming. So, so that that pregnancy will be preserved. Your mother will not dedicate that pregnancy to the satanic altar. <laughs> Somebody that we are looking for and not brought it our way. Do you see the mistake and error of our parents? That was how many of us, how many family, according to Nahum, chapter 3, verse 4, how we enter into the attack, into the manipulation 
or familiar witchcraft familiar witchcraft but hear me today every one of us including me including my wife including my children including every one of you online any familiar witchcraft activity that is going on in the foundation of our life in the foundation of our parents or in your in-laws house today in the name of jesus let the logo expose them in the name of jesus let them be exposed 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 in the name of jesus they sell family through their witchcraft by their witchcraft activity they have seen ahead that somebody from this family will become a lawyer that will bail the family out ah anyone that come as a, as a lawyer in that family will suffer hell they will they will scatter the journey of the life of that person you know why they have seen that there's going to be a lawyer who will come from this family and that then that lawyer will bail the family out they have the record they have the record that a woman is going to marry to this family and that woman god is going to use her like deborah to liberate that family and you not marry unknown to you you not marry to that family as a woman and you are saying you not fast you not pray and you are saying you don't understand your husband your husband suddenly change and you are saying your husband is under manipulation who will be under man who will be under manipulation if not your husband do you know what is on ground there is a record in that family that a woman is coming to marry them who will be deborah that will liberate not only that man the whole family the whole generation liberate them from those problems in that family so those angels in charge of that family those satanic angels those holy angels they have been waiting they are signed that they have been looking for and you not carry your leg you carry the anointing <laughs> you not married to that family and you are saying there are problem. Uh-uh, that won't be problem. Then that, that won't be problem. <laughs> that, that won't be problem. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hear me, sir. Hear me. Every family your calling sickness. Every family inherited uh, battle. Inherited sickness. Blood related uh, uh, issue. Every family with negative family pattern. Every family with rising and falling, every family with iron like bondage, blockage, any family with annual or seasonal affliction. Today, the Lord will deliver your family in the name of Jesus. Listen to me, devil is still the same person, but you're just a chameleon. Look at this scenario. A woman's husband died early. So, because of the death of the husband, the woman was the only one that raised her children. A boy, two boys. Among the children, we have a male child there. So, the mother, because they lost the, fa the father of the house, was the one that raised those children. When this one of these children, who was a male, now grow up and marry. Do you know what is going to happen in the life of that boy? If that woman did not pray. That boy will abandon the wife to the detriment of the children. You know why? Because the husband, the father, left their mother. Death is just a means of living. So if death if the mother have prayed and done some things that i'm not going to lose any of my children the death that the same the same thing that happened that made the man that made the woman to nurse to carry the children to bring up the children alone the same thing will happen to the wife that will marry this son because this man this boy who is now a father it was the mother that raised him so the children that is going to come from him the same thing will happen so you are not that wife that married that kind of son and you are saying my husband is me busy i don't understand i'm leaving ah uh, you are joking you no know? if you don't pray you are just joking because you will not your children alone 
you will not your children alone. There are millions of ways. The end mean is for the husband to just leave you. You can be in the same house and we have nothing to do with you. So you'll be the one to be, to be looking for what the children will eat. He can travel and not look back. He can go with another girl, another girlfriend. Ordinary slave. Ordinary housemaid. Can, he can impregnate the ordinary housemaid. And from there we move out of the house. You know why? His own father left the mother. And the mother was the one taking care of him. So when he grew up, the same thing will happen. So if you are that wife, you are saying you will not pray. You are saying you will not pray. The same thing as a man, it happened to a woman. I'm just using those as, a, as illustrations so that we'll be able to understand that concerning family, there are witchcraft activities that are going on that we need to deal with. If you don't deal with them, it will catch up with you. When they catch up with you, it will catch up with your children. When they catch up with your children, it's going down just like that. Every chronic sickness in your family lineage or your in-laws lineage, every role reversal syndrome, women taking over the role of husband every first child problem first child you always have problem every problem at certain age of life in your family every problem of certain age every old age crisis some people their life will be good but when they get old old and there will be problem they will decide that they crash it's either something happen it's that something evil will just happen that they will just be their old age will not be something good to talk about some people may grow, they may, when they are young, they just want wife. But when they get old, that is when they now, something now happens and you see them marry the second wife. Ah, it's old age crisis. When he's young, they are supposed to marry two wives and enjoy himself. He did not marry. So at old age, you now marry extra one. And you now marry to the son. And you don't know that uh, your own husband too, no matter how loving Tokyo you are doing, in the nearest future, in his old age, there's going to be a problem with that marriage that will make him to marry another another person. <laughs> oh my God. Every rising and falling in that family. Every persistent hardship in your family. Every near success syndrome. Near success syndrome in your family or in your own family. Today, if you can say it louder, amen. I decree, I declare, let God expose them in the name of Jesus. As God expose them, let the Lord God judge them in the name of Jesus. Let God judge them in the name of Jesus. Colossians 2, 14 to 15. And uh, we take our prayer. Colossians 2, 14, 15. Colossians chapter 2, 14 and 15. Say, blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances. Ordinances, they are not ordinary. Blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us. He took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Verse 15. Having spoiled principalities and power, he made sure of them openly, triumphing over them in it in faith. Today, every negative thing that I've been written about your family, every negative thing that I've been written about your in-laws house today the lord cancel them in the name of jesus the lord cancel them in the name of jesus the lord cancel them in the name of jesus the lord cancel them in the name of jesus the lord cancel them in the name of jesus so i pray this prayer again every reoccurring negative issue in your in-laws lineage you know your own but you don't know your in-laws family and you know the danger they will they will keep it away from you they will not tell you your in-law those negative things, they will keep it away from you. Your mother-in-law will not tell you. Your husband will not tell you. So that will be able to pepper you very well. Every handwriting of the ordinances, every negative things that have been written, that have been programmed in your in-laws family, today by the blood of Jesus, evil can sue them in the name of Jesus. The Lord can sue them. 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 Can you lift up your hand? Say, Father, say today, say I come before you on behalf of my family, my father's family, my mother's family, my in-laws family. Say I bring repentance before you. Say whatever we have done that will open our lineage unto satanic manipulation. Say, oh Lord, our God. Don't say my God. Say, oh Lord, our God. 
say have mercy on us. Say every sin, every iniquity, every worship of idols in my father's lineage, in my mother's lineage, in my in-law's lineage. Say my father, say I bring repentance today. Say have mercy on us. 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 Say oh Lord, have mercy on us. Say today, say I plead the blood of Jesus. Say I bring the blood of Jesus, the blood of atonement upon my family, my father's family, my mother's family, my in-law's family. Say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Say I plead the blood of Jesus upon my father's house, my mother's house, my in-law's house. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. So, Lord, my God, say I release my family, the Ariola's family. Thank you for mentioning my family's name. Say, oh Lord, my God, say I bring my family before your throne of mercy. Say, Father, have mercy on me, have mercy on us. Amen on my family in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Say, Oh Lord, my God, say, Have mercy on my family in the name of Jesus. Say, Have mercy on my family. Say, Oh Lord, have mercy on my family. Say, Oh Lord, my God, have mercy on my family. Let your mercy speak for my family. Say, Oh Lord, my God, have mercy upon my family in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer very well? Let the Lord God have mercy on your family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. So, Lord, my God, say, bless every member of my family. Say, your hand of blessing. Let it rest upon every member of my family. Your husband, your wife, your children, measure them. So, Lord, my God, let your hand of blessing, let your hand of help rest upon my family. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord, my God, let your hand of help, let your hand of mercy, let your hand of favor, let your hand of blessing, let it rest upon my family, upon my husband, upon my wife, upon my children, in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Measure the name of your husband, the name of your wife, measure the name of your children. Ask, pray that prayer for them. The Father, in the name of Jesus, let your hand, let it rest upon them. In the name of Jesus, your hand of mercy, your hand of help, your hand of favor, let it rest upon my family. In the name of Jesus, let it rest upon my family. In the name of Jesus, let it rest upon my family. In the name of Jesus, your hand of help, Father, let it rest, O Lord, upon my family. In the name of Jesus, your hand of help, let it rest upon my family. In the name of Jesus, can you pray for yourself, pray for your family, your husband, your wife, your children. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. So, Lord, my God, say by your right hand, deliver my family from satanic attack, from mysterious attack, from satanic attack. In the name of Jesus, say from your current problem, from common problem, from blood-related problem in my lineage. So, Lord, my God by your right hand say deliver my family in the name of jesus mention your name and the name of your wife mention your name and the name of your husband as the logo to deliver your family that means your immediate family in the name of jesus my lord my god by your right hand deliver my family from satanic attack from ungodly attack from negative pattern from rising and falling from annual or seasonal affliction from chronic sickness, chronic disease, reoccurring sickness, reoccurring disease, blood related health issue. Father, deliver my family by the blood of Jesus. By your right hand, deliver my family in the name of Jesus. Deliver my family from witchcraft attack, from witchcraft manipulation. Lord, deliver my family in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? Say, Lord, deliver my family. Deliver my family. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family. 
In the name of Jesus, deliver my family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say every ancient altar, every satanic altar, every ungodly altar erected by my parents that is now working against me, speaking against my marriage, speaking against my head, speaking against my wife, against my husband, against my children. Say you that satanic altar by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of Holy Ghost, scatter by fire. Hey, in the name of Jesus, scatter by fire, 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 scatter by fire. Command them to scatter every ungodly altar that has been erected that is speaking against you, every altar erected by your parents that is working against you, that is speaking against your family, against your head, against your business, against your career. Say, scatter by fire. Scatter by fire, 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 scatter by fire. Command the altar to scatter. In the name of Jesus, command it to scatter. Command it to scatter. Command it to scatter. Command it to scatter. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus, evil family chain, holding my family to affliction, to problem. To crisis, say you that satanic family chain break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Any evil family chain holding my family a ransom, holding my family to crisis, holding my family to affliction. You that family chain in the name of Jesus, break by fire, 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 break, break, break. Break, 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 break. Command the chain to break in the name of Jesus. Any evil family chain holding you to your mother, holding you to your father, holding you to problem in your line. Command it to break, 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 break by fire, 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 break by fire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus, evil family pattern over my mother's lineage. Evil family pattern over my father's lineage. Evil family pattern over my in-laws' house. Do you hear that prayer? Over my in-laws' house. Because there are many things you don't know in that family. There are many things you don't know. You just married to that place. There are millions of things you don't know. I there was an issue some years ago, almost about uh, I think three or four years now. Three or four years now. Three, four, around five years ago. Between four and five years ago. In a particular family. So I have to come in as a pastor to that family. I met some elders of that family. God has been helping me on this assignment. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I met some elders of that family. The children were not aware. The last born of that family, for you to know that they are not children, the last born of that family, the last born is above 40. So when I met them, I would begin to talk. One of the elders just looked at me. Can you just imagine when the last born of a family is above 40? All of them they have they are old enough, they are doing well, all of them are married, all of them have children, they are, but there's an issue. So as a pastor, I have to come in into that family and uh, I tried to seek some of the family member and I God helped me to meet one of the elders of that family. <laughs> some of them say, You yourself, what are you looking for? It's not my fault. <laughs> so, sometimes we just need to dig deep. Dig deep. We need to travel. We travel to go and meet some people. This family, what do you know? What is the way out? 
So the elderly man, as you are talking, he just look at me. He said, Pastor. Pastor. <laughs> Pastor. Don't carry this load. Don't carry this load. You see this load on ground. This load will be on ground before they gave birth, before the family gave birth to all their children. <laughs> Did you hear what the elderly man said? He said, Pastor, you see this load and this affliction, this problem. What the man is just telling me is this. This problem has been on over 50 years, over 60 years. This problem has been on ground before they married, before the two of them married, before they started having children. Don't forget their last born was above 40. <laughs> if the last born is above 40, can you just imagine what would be the age of the first born? But the elderly man in that family said, Pastor, this problem in that in this in the, you see this problem in this family. Is old enough, he's older than you, so don't carry it. The problem will be on ground before they marry, before they started having children, and their last born is above 40. So, why do you want to put your head? <laughs> and funny enough, the children did not know. The children, they did not know. They did not know. And these children, they have husband, they have wife. So if you are the one that married to this kind of children, you just be complaining of problem unknown to you. If you are the husband, you just be complaining. If you are the wife, you just be complaining. That is why as you are praying for your family, you mention your in-laws family. Which year, some years ago, I was having issue some some my own personal issue. And I told my father-in-law, I want to go on retreat and settle this matter before God. May God bless that the man is dead now. I love that man. Because he support me, support my ministry, everything before he died. He said, no problem, Pastor, go. He said, I believe in you, I believe in your God. Your God will answer you. You will not be put to shame. The third day I came back, I called him. Hello, Grandpa, I'm back. He was still alive then. He said, ah, you are back. I said, yes. He said, why are you back? I said, because I have settled it. He said, no, you left three days ago, four days ago. So you only spent three days on retreat with your God. I said, yes. And you settled it. I said, yes. He said, no. You cannot settle it within three days. Uh -huh. I was telling myself, what is the meaning? I said, I'm coming. For you to know that I have settled it, I'm coming. I want to share something with you. When I met him, he looked at me. He said, this your God is strange. You know why? My father-in-law, my father-in-law faced the same problem. And it took him more than, more than 30 years to come out of it. More than 30 years. You know, I'm not telling you what I read. I'm telling you my own. It took my father-in-law more than 30 years. What is that year? More than 30 years to come out, out of just one single marital problem. But me, three days. So when I say I, I'm done, when I told my father-in-law I've said to him with God, what took me 30 years? An elderly person, what took me 30 years? You, you small boy, you are not saying three days. Can you just it will not work? It can work. Because the information that I have access to, that man did not have access to it. I have access to God. The man is not a pastor. <laughs> so I just think, if God, this problem, what should I do? And he said, Pray this prayer. And I prayed overnight with fasting and prayer. And uh, the second I said, It's done. <laughs> that is it. Can we, are we ready to take that prayer? Sister Daniel, are we ready to take that prayer? Uh, our prayer coordinator, are you ready? Say in the name of Jesus. Say every evil family pattern in my father's lineage, in my mother's lineage, in the family I married to. So, Lord, expose them to your light in the name of Jesus. Every hidden, every secret things that I need to know about my father's house, 
about my mother's house, about my in-laws' house. Men, don't say in-laws' house. Mention your husband's surname. Mention your wife's surname. Say, Lord, expose them to me. Expose them, reveal them. Expose them, reveal them. Expose them, reveal them. Expose them, reveal them. Ask the Lord God to expose them. Every secret thing that you need to know about your mother's lineage, about your father's lineage. Say, Lord, expose them. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. There was problem of anger in the lineage of Moses. There was problem of anger in the lineage of Moses. Moses in the Bible. So there was a cause upon that lineage. This family of anger, you will not enter into the promise of God. When it matters most, God will not attend to you. It was too late. By the time Moses realized it, that this was the problem in his lineage, that issue had dealt with Moses. Moses labored for God. He worked for God. What was the reward? You will only see. You will not enter. You know God dealt with Moses. God now told Moses, Oh, yeah, come on top of the something. Look, look at the land. God was not telling him, you see that place is a fatal land. You see that place is the promise what that, that I promise your family. But you can only see you will not ha. Ah, so painful. So painful. If you don't know, if you don't know the secret in your lineage, when those battles are raging, you begin to you'll be using you'll be using medication for cancer to treat ordinary headache. Headache that is just don't drink water and go and rest. You'll not be taking medication for cancer. You will be using medication for uh, what do you call it? For bones to treat eyes, eyes infection. The medication for bones, eh? You will not be using it to put it there. Well, you don't know. I thought. I thought people were against me, people this and that. Until my brother, when I was facing it, and my brother now called me, I said, You know what you are facing now? Our father, our grandfather faced it. Because I'm from the lineage of priests. He faced it and he missed it. Our uncle faced it, he missed it. Me myself, I was running crusade. And when I got to this particular point, I miss it. You are our last born. You are our last hope. So if you miss it, our 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 mother's generation, they have missed it. So it's our own generation now. So you are the last one. I'm the last one of my mother. So if you miss it, this generation have missed it. Who else will take it? And I remember when my wife was pregnant of uh, our son, the Lord said that pregnancy is going to be a boy and it's going to be a pastor. He said, my, my brother said, if you don't, if you miss it, it will go to the next generation. Can they, can they sustain it? And I remember my son. If, if that boy should do something wrong, and you, you scream on him, you shout on him, you will see his eyes, you begin to cry. <laughs> what I, I don't say, God, me, if you slap me, I will still rob the place. I will look at you, I will rob the place, I will not cry. But this generation, you scream on them alone, you shout on them, they begin to cry. <laughs> Mommy, you shout on them. Hey, hey. So, if I don't break it, within me, I know that this boy, <laughs> ice cream generation, I was not brought up with ice cream. I was brought up with what we call quackle biscuit. That kind of biscuit, before you eat it. Mr. Hassan, you know those biscuits? Quackle biscuit. Sometimes you have to use stone to break. It's just biscuit. But it's very hard. You need to use stone, break it into pieces, and you begin to shield it small, small. That was what I was brought up with. So this one that they are live is ice cream. <laughs> but because God exposed those ugly incidents in my foundation for me, so I was able to patiently handle it in the place of prayer. And God grant me victory. But if you don't know, you begin to point. I have seen husband 
laying her kissing finger on, on their wife is why behind my problem whereas the problem the source of that problem is they are the one is their foundation i see why i say he's my husband who is my husband but by the time you put light when god shed light on it you will know that that one woman the source of the problem is a foundation it's a foundation can you take that prayer one more time so lord my god say every negative pattern say every secret that i need to know in my foundation in my mother's lineage in my father's lineage in my in-laws lineage that is affecting my life that is affecting my progress that is affecting my head so lord my god expose them to your light in the name of jesus father expose them to your light 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 as the lord god to expose them to his light in the name of jesus let those things be exposed let it be exposed let it be exposed let it be exposed let it be exposed in jesus name we are praying as god exposed them you not take this next prayer say every fa- every negative family pattern every negative family pattern in my father's lineage in my mother's lineage in my in-laws lineage say in the name of jesus you that negative family pattern over my life over my marriage over my head over my business over my career over my children break by fire 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 command them to break in the name of jesus command them to break every negative family pattern command it to break over your life command it to break 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 that negative family pattern in your husband lineage say in the name of jesus break by fire 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 break 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 command it to break that negative family pattern in your father's lineage in your mother's lineage command it to break command it to break command it to break it can be art issue it can be marital problem it can be financial crisis command it to break in the name of jesus command it to break 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 in jesus name we are praying say by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus any injury that my family has sustained any injury that my life has sustained that my destiny has sustained as a result of negative family pattern say oh lord my god say heal me today heal my family heal my body heal my business heal my partner in the name of jesus can you pray that prayer for yourself any injury that you have sustained any injury that your family has sustained any injury that your marriage has sustained as a result of that negative family issue ask the Lord God to bring you healing let God heal your husband let God heal your wife let God heal your children in the name of Jesus thank you mighty father in Jesus name we pray say every every cause C-U-R-S-E negative utterances say any cause upon my father's house upon my mother's house upon my in-laws house affecting my family affecting our earth affecting our finance you that cause by the blood of jesus say be cancelled be cancelled be cancelled be cancelled be cancelled be cancelled any negative statement any negative utterances every negative prediction every negative cause upon you my father's house upon my mother's house upon my in-laws house that is affecting me that is affecting my ministry pray me good center that is affecting my wife affecting my children affecting my head affecting my finance in the name of jesus you that cause in the name of jesus be cancelled 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 command it to be cancelled in the name of jesus let that cause be cancelled let it be cancelled 
Let it be cancelled. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say every mark of witchcraft. Do you hear that prayer? Mr. Hassan Online, do you hear that prayer? Every mark. M A R K. Mark. Every mark of witchcraft. Don't forget where we are coming from. Nahum 3, 4 to 7. He said, A seller family through, his, through our witchcraft. He just put mark on it. Anywhere you appear, you are the one physically that you don't see the mark. When you enter into a place, they see the mark. This one, we must not help this one. This one, we must frustrate this one. Mark of witchcraft. This one, we must frustrate this person. This one, when a man enters into a place and uh, everybody just ate, everybody just stand up, they don't want to. There's mark of hatred. I've shared it. I was going to office one day and I was inside the bus. I did not, I carry my, my bag, my, uh, uh, it's uh, the laptop bag. So there's no way you will see me as, I say, maybe this one is a pastor. So I just enter and I'm, I always mind my business. So I just keep quiet. I didn't talk. I didn't really read anything. So the bus, the driver and some people are now talking. And they are talking about Jesus, about Bible, about this and that. I didn't talk. And the woman sitting beside me, I was sitting at the front. So there's a woman between me and the driver. And the woman just he said, Pastor, you did not say anything to this. I pretend I said I did not know. And the driver said, Ah, you know, because you are talking in Yoruba. So the driver now said, This one did not hear you. This one is not a pastor. How do you know he's a pastor? Maybe this one is working in a bank. See the way he, the driver even abused me. See his style like uh, you know mention something. See his style like so so, so thing. I did not laugh. So I pretend I say I did not hear what they are saying. He said, You see, if it's Yoruba, we have answer. Oh, and the woman now said, It's a pastor. No? Don't you see the mark on him? Don't you don't you don't you eh? Hey, she didn't say man, don't you perceive the odor? And never say we should do. Sir, you have nose, you cannot smell. I smell the moment he, he enter, I smell it. It's a pastor. What did she smell? <laughs> what did she smell? She said the moment he enter, I smell it. And I've seen the mark. See mark of pastor name. The woman now jacked me again. He said, Stop pretending you are a pastor. I said, I don't know what you are talking about. He said, I know you are a pastor. You and I know. And you know, me and you, we know. Me and you know what? I don't know you from nowhere. So I said, I first of all want to pretend. And the woman, so the devil said, Leave him. Stop uh, laying uh, one allegation against us. And the woman said, The woman was not angry. He said, No, don't put him out. I know. And he know. We know ourselves. <laughs> He's a pastor. He's a pastor. He's just pretending. And now laugh. He said, hey, I know. I see. The moment you enter, and she repeated, he said, I smell it. And I saw the mark. I look at myself. No mark. I tried to smell myself. <laughs> I was even smelling sweat. <laughs> ah, there is mark. There is mark. There is mark. Mark of witchcraft is mark of don't help this person. Mark of witchcraft, mark of failure, mark of setback. Are you going to take that prayer? Say in the name of Jesus. Say every mark of witchcraft upon my life, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. Say every mark of witchcraft that I carry. Say by the blood of Jesus. You that satanic mark. You that wish can man say be cancel, 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 command them to be cancel in the name of Jesus, command them to be cancel, command them to be cancel. Command them to be cancel. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare, let them be cancelled. Every mark, every mark of witchcraft upon you, upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career. Say in the name of Jesus, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled. 
Command them to be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Command them to be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Command them to be cancelled. Every mark of witchcraft upon your life, upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career. Command them to be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Command them to be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, command them to be cancelled. Every mark of witchcraft upon your business, upon your family, say in the name of Jesus, be cancelled, 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 be cancelled. Say I cancel them. Every mark of witchcraft upon my family, upon my home, upon my wife, upon my husband, upon my children, upon my finance. Upon my head, say every mark of familiar witchcraft, say be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled, 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 be cancelled. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lift up your hand. Today, I declare, I declare. Every good thing that you have lost as a result of the activities of familiar witchcraft. Everything that your family as a whole have lost as a result of activities of witchcraft. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, my pray for your family. Let them be recovered in the name of Jesus. Let them be recovered. Begin to recover. Begin to recover. Begin to recover. Begin to recover. Every good thing that the enemy has spoiled in your family. Today, by the blood of Jesus, let the Lord God restore them back in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Your hand. Take it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Hold that hand, that oil in your hand. Don't forget, I said, don't use it from today. We we'll just be praying on it. We we'll just be praying on it today, tomorrow, till you pray on it for seven days non-stop. And next week, Friday, Fiji, we we'll use it, and I will not give further instruction. Thank you, Jesus. Have you been blessed today? Have you been blessed today? now lift it up father i want to say thank you for the oil in our hand we give you praise we give you honor in the name of jesus i speak into that oil in your hand let the power of god flow into it in the name of jesus every impurity in that oil let it be neutralized in the name of jesus the bread of god for life the bread of god for life the breath of God for life. Let it flow into that oil in the name of Jesus. The power of God for restoration. The restoration power. Let it flow into that oil in the name of Jesus. The fire of God for separation. Let it flow into that oil in the name of Jesus. The hand of God for lifting. Let it rest upon that oil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. So keep the oil. Bring it back tomorrow. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. As you close today, number 6, 24, 25, 24 to 26. Everyone, body, let's lift up our hand. As a family, please hold the hand of somebody, your wife, your husband, your children. Hold the hand of somebody there with you. As a family, everybody, hold your hands together. Number 6, 24, 26. Are we ready? Have you hold the hand of somebody? Today, may the Lord God bless your family in the name of Jesus. Every family represented online, every family, every family that you represent, may God bless your family in the name of Jesus. May God keep your family from evil in the name of Jesus. May God make his face to shine of favor, of increase, of favor. May God make his face to shine upon your family in the name of Jesus. May God be gracious to your family. May God lift up his countenance upon your family. And may God give your family peace. In the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Every one of you that God is using to support us. In your, your seed, with your tithe, with your offering. May God bless you. May God be gracious unto you. 
May God favor all your cause in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you from the activities of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Every foundational error, may God correct them in your life in the name of Jesus. Every error in your foundation that is affecting you. Because you partner, we partner together cons- to do the work of God. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. May God go to the foundation, the source of your life, and carry out spiritual correction in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Next, I will hear from you. It shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Every family member that is under medication, that is under weather, that is sick, may the hand of God of for divine healing rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. If you have been blessed today, you are saying, Pastor, I can't just go without blessing the ministry. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. If you are on Facebook, just look at the today's uh, title message. You will see the detail there. Amen. All right, now just go to the comment section. You will see the account detail there by the help of Holy Spirit, by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. And if you are on WhatsApp, Amen. Just send the message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. Plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. Just ask for the candidate. We send it to you. As you partner with us, as you do this work of God together, may God raise men and women for you in the name of Jesus. May God confirm His word in your life, and may God disgrace every agent of witchcraft. That surround you. May God disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Till we come again tomorrow by the grace of God for day five. Five is a number of favor. Five is a number of grace. Five is a number of mercy. Don't miss tomorrow. Come and obtain mercy. Come and receive favor. Come and receive grace to move forward and upward. Jesus' name. God bless you all. Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear Father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, Please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.